but I'm gonna get these guys back in the water. That's what I was looking for right there. What is going on, Kafiros? Welcome back to another video here today. I've got the cast net, and uh, as you can see by the title and thumbnail of this video, we're heading out to catch a placo. If you don't know what a placo, other known as a uh, placosmus, it's one of those sucker fish that go on the bottom that look like this. I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with this species, and uh, they clean the pool ponds real well when the algae starts to grow. So obviously there's not much algae in there right now because it is only a few days into it, but a lot of ponds first go through a green stage, like it gets real green. Unless, of course, you have the filter that I have. It's called a UV filter, which, which makes that a lot harder to happen. Bottom line is, I will feed this pleco until the algae starts to grow and then it kind of feeds itself. Without further ado, I'm gonna cast net. Hopefully this doesn't take long. This is an extra video. I will see you tomorrow, but for now, let's get cast net. All right, so we got some tilapia and we also got two largemouth bass. But I'm gonna get these guys back in the water because I could bring one of you home and put you in the big pond with thump, but that's another day. We are not getting to the placo, are we? Oh, buddy, you swam yourself back up. No, nope, other way. All right, there we go. All right, that's cast number two. All righty. Here it is. That's what I was looking for right there. These things can walk on land and also stay out of water for like hours. Grab our placo. There he is. Look at the little orange fins on him. Good looking fish right there. All right, well those gentlemen driving away right there have a landscape business and they had no idea what a placo was. So I just introduced them to a new species. That's what it's all about. Go in, buddy. All right, we'll be home in literally two minutes, so close you up. Back home and here are the four Paku. One's in there and the other three, there it goes. They're just chilling and we've got our placo in some yellow water. Look at the difference of that. That is absolutely insane. All right. I've now set up a little drip acclimation here. As you can see, the water just kind of drips right out of there, which will slowly acclimate our placo into this pool pond right here. We're gonna give that a while. We're just gonna close it so the sun doesn't heat up that water. Just let it sit there, and uh, that's gonna do its thing for now. I mean, if you guys saw last video, it was a great video. We set up this pool pond here. I'm just super excited for that placo. That, that placo is gonna be so sick in here because it just gives it a different look. A placo from the above looks like a dragon. It looks so cool from above. Another thing that's pretty cool is yesterday, so I was just going to cut this tube fully off right here. Instead, I left it kind of hanging, so there's one little thread hanging. Most of the water goes out and then, of course, makes that flow in oxygen. And a little bit of the water goes down this tube that's still hanging, and then it creates like an, like an aerator. So now I got an aerator and a flow, so I'm just, I'm winning here. I guess I'll take this time while this is acclimating to say, if you haven't done so already, join the family. There's a subscribe button down there. All you gotta do is click it, and then click the bell, and you'll automatically be notified every time I do upload. What are you doing behind? Oh my gosh, dude. All right, come here, buddy. It's about time. The water level has went up a lot. Thanks. There you are, fella. You got a lot of room to swim around. Look at the coloration on that fish right there. So I'm gonna have to feed them, of course, for the first few weeks, just because the algae isn't thick on the sides yet. Once it gets thick, then they can actually feed themselves. But until then, I gotta feed them. Today's positive comment shout out going to Savannah. I love your channel so much, even though I just found you, I would love to have a pond like yours. I hope your wish is granted one day. These fishies are doing good. Let me show you how happy the gar is now that those Paku are out. In the little flow over there, before he was sitting up on this little tiny, real shallow water because the Paku were picking on him. So now it's just Thump, the catfish, and our gar, and they're all happier than can be. Thank you, Savannah, and thank you to all those who do support me in the comments down below. If you do want to win a positive comment shout out, the way to do so is just drop a positive comment in the description down below, and uh, you could be in one of these upcoming videos. Do me one more favor if you did enjoy this video and you want to see more extra uploads. Extra uploads meaning I post every other day.